Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be doing a very highly requested video. We are finally going to be talking about rabbits. There are so many different breeds of rabbits and they come in all sizes and colors. I've had rabbits my whole life and I've owned so many. So in this video I will be going over some of the general care requirements for rabbits including what to feed your rabbit, how to house your rabbit, and how to provide them with a happy and healthy life. I'm Megan with Happy Tales Pet Care and I'm a professional pet expert and nutrition consultant. My goal is to educate people about animals and help pet owners provide the best care to their beloved pets. See a pet in my video you like? Let me know and I will feature that pet in more videos. If you guys are interested in getting peacock feathers that are from my farm and my birds, these are actually gonna be available on my website. 100% of the profits from these feathers goes directly back to the animals that you guys see in these videos every week. I'll put a link in the description of this video so that you can get these feathers. There is a limited number because they are only from my birds. And if you guys do order some, comment down below and let me know if you liked them. Most of my rabbits were mixed breeds, but my favorite breeds are Dutch and Lop. Rabbits come in all different sizes, ranging from 2 pounds to 20 pounds, and live for about 8 to 10 years. Rabbits make great family pets. You'll probably find my point of view a lot different than most information guides out there about rabbits because I do recommend them for kids. Yes, rabbits are fragile animals, just like any small mammal, but for responsible kids, they do make great pets. If a kid can learn how to efficiently use an iPad, they can be taught how to be gentle and care for rabbits. They are not good pets for everyone but they do make good pets for people who want to care for them their entire life and provide them with a good home. Two rabbits is better than one. Rabbits are animals that really enjoy companionship and will bond with animals of different species. This is Rosie the bunny and she was best friends with Petunia the mini pig. You can get a soft brush for your rabbit if they do live indoors because rabbits do shed quite a bit. They need time outside of their cage on a daily basis. Rabbits that do not spend the majority of their time in outdoor enclosures on the ground will need to have their nails trimmed. They also need to be provided with wooden toys to wear their teeth down because their teeth are constantly growing. Don't put anything plastic in your rabbit's cage. No plastic food dishes and no plastic hides. They can chew up plastic and swallow small parts, which can become fatal. Rabbits will not be 100% litter trained. Generally, they will go to the bathroom in a litter box, but they will poop out side of the litter box occasionally. You can provide a litter box for your rabbit and they will use it most of the time. A cat litter box is going to be a better size for them than the ones that are meant for rabbits. For those of you who've been on my channel for a while, you've probably noticed that I will never recommend something just for the sake of spending more money when it isn't necessary. That is why I find some of the information that is out there about rabbits to be so frustrating. Usually, they do not need veterinarian care unless they become ill. Rabbits do not need to be spayed or neutered unless you want to house males and females together. Your rabbit can live a perfectly healthy life without being spayed or neutered. And most rabbits do not need vaccines. Before giving yourself more vet bills to pay for, take into consideration a couple of things. Where you live has a lot to do with it. In some places, there's no reason for vaccines but in other places, it might be a good idea. This usually has a lot to do with the wild rabbit population. Research what risks are in your area. Some European countries do vaccinate rabbits. Most rabbits in the United States, however, do just fine without vaccinations. I will never recommend something that is just for the sake of spending more money. I use water bottles for my rabbits when they're inside, but when they're outside, I use water bowls. Rabbits can live inside or outside because they can do well in different climates. If they do live outside though, they do need to be protected from harsh weather. They need a nice shaded place to cool down, or during the winter, they need a nice warm hide. And you'll also need to make sure that they are safe from predators. My rabbits live outside most of the year, and I keep them in a very secure yard where they're able to dig tunnels to provide their own shelters. I also provide them with hides, so they use both. Pet store cages are usually too small for rabbits. Homemade cages usually work the best, Personally, I love chicken hutches for them. You can order them online or purchase them from local feed stores. These usually have plenty of room for rabbits and also provide them with a nice house for shelter. For indoor cages, there are several types of bedding that you can use. Some people use fleece liners, which is okay unless your rabbit chews on them a lot. 
Aspen wood bedding is okay for them. And there's also paper bedding and pellet bedding available as well. Rabbits need hay every day. They can have either alfalfa or grass hay. Rabbits also need pellets. Alfalfa pellets is what I recommend for them. Rabbits also very much enjoy and benefit from vegetables every day. However, I find that it is a myth that all rabbits like carrots. Many of my rabbits do not like carrots. It's really important to know your rabbit's personal preferences. The amount of veggies you feed depends on the size of your rabbit. Half a cup for small rabbits to a cup and a half for large rabbits. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I put out a new video on animals every week and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you guys next week. So I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of this product and also showing you how it works on a dog.